Welcome to Flash CS5 Tutorial. Make a comic book, part 5. Naturally, that's a follow-up to part 4, which I have on my monitor right now. First thing I want to do is select this top layer of the pages. In my case, it's page 1, square 6. And down here, insert a folder. Call it page 1. And I'm going to put this, these all except for this page one, putting all those pages inside this folder. Gives us some room to work here. Now, if we start at this and try to test this movie, every time we try to test it, we'd have to wait for it to go through all this sequence. So what we're going to do is Go up to this action script, first layer, first frame, open it up. And we're going to comment out backslash to backslash so it automatically jumps into the second frame. Open the library panel. And I want to select this movie clip, page one, square one. That's the first movie clip, the first square. Unlock the sign layer. So with your selection tool, highlight the sign. Modify it, convert it to a symbol. It's going to be a button. And it's going to be called PG1, as in page 1. SQ1, as in square 1. It's the sign, S-I-G-N. And it's underscore BTN, its button. While it's still highlighted, open the properties panel and give it that same name PG1, SQ1, SIGN, underscore BTN. Let's lock that all the layers. Insert a layer at the top. Call it Action Script, AS. Open that first frame and let's put a stop in here. Now, let's put in some code for this new button we made. And type, 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 type. There's my code. Page one, square one, sign button. We just made it. Underscore BTN. Add event listener. We've done these dozens of times. Period. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L. It turns blue when it's spelt right. Open bracket, mouse event, capital M, capital E. That turns blue when it's spelt right. Period, click, all capitals, C-L-I-C-K, comma. And I'm calling this function S-I-G, as in sign, P-G-1, S-Q-1. My P is a capital and my S is a capital. Close bracket, semicolon, function. F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N turns purple. I copied this function name, paste it in here, open bracket, event, small e-v-e-n-t, colon, copied this most event, stuck it in here, close bracket, colon, void, void turns the same color as function, open bracket, and here's the, and that's an open curly bracket, there's the close curly bracket for that function, and in here I'm telling it to go to and stop frame two. G-O-T-O, capital A-N-D, capital S-T-O-P, open bracket, two, close bracket, semicolon, and of course our close curly bracket. Let's go back to our timeline. Select the sign layer and insert two layers, one, two. And in the Select the second two uh, fra frames of them, two new layers. And in here, we're going to do some things. So I want to look at this one I'm calling narration. I'll unlock it. There it is, the narration. It's the words. It's the text. I made a text box. I think I use Verdana. I use Verdana text. Nine points, colors black, and 
not this background that's on this one here see that that's on the background is there and it just says Dr. Munn is working late again he is expecting a call from his assistant again I'm not really expecting you to follow everything I'm making I'm just showing you how to do do some things and naturally we're going to jump into this frame when we click on that button we made in frame one and there's my narration box is separate and the reason I make them separate is because I can copy them and paste them and not carry the text with it and keep the text separate. Make sure all the layers are locked. Let's go up to the timeline again and up to about frame 100 ish. Select the university and the sign, that's the two bottom ones. Select those and insert keyframes. Bring that all the way up there and we're going to select the narration layer insert a layer and this is going to be select frame 3 insert a blank keyframe and you're going to put in here ring ring see ring ring so on frame 3 of this new layer called ring so we're here, we're sitting here, we hit the button, it drops us into this frame, then this is going to become a button to bring us to this ring frame, and then it's going to go ring, 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 okay, like that. And we want it to stop after the three rings, so somewhere around 40-ish 40, 40 at this point in time. Insert a keyframe and you won't have all these extra frames that I have because I'm pasting this in. Okay, so you're going to have something like it's going to ring and then tilt, ring and then tilt, and then tilt, and it's gone. So make sure all your layers are locked. Unlock this narration box layer. Select that frame too. Make sure the narration box is selected open your panel and it should be called page one square one narration capital NAR underscore BTN that's what we're calling this box what you'd have to do is you'd have to highlight it modify it convert it to a symbol and by now I'm sure you can you can do that or you wouldn't wouldn't be this far now we gotta write the code for that button so on frame two of the actions layer insert a blank keyframe open your actions panel and type 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 you could go back to that frame one here and copy this most of this because it's going to be almost identical except for some name changes so here it is it's page one PG1 SQ1 NAR NAR underscore BTN. This is the same as the previous page, but now we're calling it NAR PG1 SQ1 for the function. Close bracket. Don't forget this open bracket here. Semicolon. Function. Copy this. Paste it in there. Bracket. Event. Small e. Colon. Most event. Close bracket colon void and I'm just doing something here I'm gonna you can type this in but I don't need it yet this go to and play three this trace t-r-a-c-e narrat that's that n-a-r so trace open bracket quotation mark some word that you're going to recognize close quotation close bracket semicolon and let's just see it may it may work to that point let's just check it out test the movie I wouldn't be surprised if I had some errors okay we click this it says Dr. Munn is working late he's expecting a call from his assistant and when we click that there's that narrat so so far so good so if he's expecting a call from his assistant I think that's what we need to do is make the call from his assistant right above this narration box under the ring right above the ring box 
insert two layers go up and put at least four or five four or five spaces here before we insert our keyframes here insert keyframes or blank keyframes it doesn't matter at this point in time and now I'm pasting in these frames but I'm going to go through them with you in a minute okay you got these two frames and let's look at them one at a time let's look at the one called talk right here you got a layer called talk you only have one keyframe here at this time and in it <coughs> you're going to have some text in this case my text is what you see here it says you got to see this that's obviously the doctor's telling somebody you got to see this and under that we have this blue I look at just that I'll, I'll hide everything except that voice what I call the voice box and it's made of a of a with a pencil tool a brownish color and then I'm just filling it with the blue and I'm using this tool here to shape it so when it's unlocked I can click on it and change its shape see that and I use this over and over and over again once I have that in those two frames I would then go back up to this frame 100 select the two frames and insert two keyframes to bring that voice at this point in time all the way up to there we're going we're going to do something similar now we're going to select that talk layer the one under the action script insert two more layers and this is going to be the reply so somewhere between here and the hundred I want to go up around 75 each oh, maybe don't, don't want to be that much further up around 65 here and in your case you would have two new frames you'll insert keyframes they can be blank keyframes at this point in time and where I'm going to paste frames again I'll explain to you in a minute you're going to do something very similar you're going to make a another voice box and the easiest thing to do would be to go back to this frame here and copy this one lock all the frames unlock this this one and this one select those two highlight them copy them and paste them in there and just change the text but whatever whatever format you use and whatever skills you have that's what you're going to use so you could just say here whoops you could just go like this and now you got those both things copy them and then you can come up here and select them and paste them if you want to keep them separate do them one at a time lock this one just do the text then paste it or you could even take and copy these two frames and paste them as two frames again however you you do that so now we have the answer I'll be there shortly and again bring that up to frame 100 by inserting two keyframes and I think we want to do one more thing with this come way up to here on my actions layer we want this to stop so insert a blank keyframe open the actions panel and let's put a stop S T O P open close brackets semicolon let's go back to frame 2 on the action script and here's where we want to tell it not to do a trace anymore so I'm just going to comment that out with two backslashes go to and play frame 3 this will take us into these frames which will do the ring ring so let's test that out I click it it gives me the little narration then there's the ring ring you got to see this I'll be there shortly and it stops there and eventually we'll come to this next frame let's go back to scene one the main timeline and up here after this above this white let's insert a layer and call it frm as in frame frm number maybe a number sign will actually work here frame number or frame name 
and come over here on the next frame here which is my case is 60 it's going to be 61 insert a blank keyframe and open your actions panel and now we're going to give this frame a name and the name I'm going to give it is FRM as in frame page 1 square 2 that's what the name of this frame is going to be that's right there and at the same time let's take and on that layer let's lock all the other layers and just unlock this frame so and select this one frame and just put some a tool for us and right here make a great big text really large text for now and write 61 that's the frame number I'm on and let's make that a, a, a dark color of some sort there so now when we jump to here if we see 61 we know we jumped to here I'll go back to the library panel I want to open up that page one square one movie clip and go to the very last action frame here the last one open it up and way up the top here after our stop put a line in movie clip capital M capital C open bracket root that means get back to the main timeline close bracket period go to and stop small g small t capital A capital S open bracket and in quotation quotation FRM PG1 SQ2 that's that frame name close bracket semicolon that's the name we call that frame so when we get here it will loop back and jump into that frame 61 let's give this a try I expect to get some errors here but that would be alright okay there's the label there's the ring ring there's the phone being answered and there's 61 to tell us we did indeed jump into that frame and we have no faults I think that's enough for this tutorial there naturally is going to be a follow-up it would be part 6 I believe we'll carry on to the next squares hope you learned something from this tutorial I hope you'll use what you learn